Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello if you're one of my new subscribers. Uh, this is going to be a quick video just because I have a busy day. As mentioned before, I've got a funeral to get ready to go to and yeah, but I went and got the mail this morning so I got my Kiss Me subscription as well as my channel shout out today is going to go to nosy house frau a dear friend i consider her a dear friend she gave me my very first shout out when i started my channel and for that i will be forever grateful um as a side note and i'll try to remember to link it down below in the chaos it is today she has merch out this is one of her shirts will work for views I love it. Please, if you would like, go check out her channel, subscribe, pick up some merch. I have another shirt that hasn't come yet, but it's on its way according to the tracking. So yes, she is just, there's no word I can think of right now to describe her because uh, she's just so insightful. I guess that would be a good word. Um, I just love her take on things. Uh, sometimes she has her son on her channel, which is awesome. I just, I love her to bits. She is one of the people that I consider a friend that I've made through YouTube. So I do have a story time, but first let's get the Kiss Me subscription out of the way. I couldn't help myself. I was getting ready and I thought, oh, two birds, one stone. I'm going to try it on, wear test it and reveal it all in one video. So as usual, it came with the little write-up and little show of all the shades and whatnot. And I have all three on today because why not? So as usual, it come in the little, little bag and we will start off with Slayer. Ugh. So like Sailor, but Slay Lore. And here is the tube. These, I don't know why this month they just smell extra good to me. So it is a very vibrant pink. Very reminiscent of the 80s. But I'm kind of living for it today because I need something cheery. The second one I'll show you is Naughty, not Naughty, Naughty, like nautical. I sometimes, I don't know why, sometimes their play on words just makes me giggle a little more than usual. It's a nice kind of corally shade. Mm, it smells like cake mix. I love it. Like angel food cake to be more specific. And then this one, which is Yachty, not Naughty, Yachty, is actually a gloss. And it's going to be hard to swatch because I put it over what I'm wearing now. So it might... I stained the doe foot, but we'll just see. It's got a bit of an iridescent to it. So very nice. I... I can't say enough. These are in the top five, absolutely, of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. And as a side note, I do have a link down below. And I think if you decide to go with it, you get a free lipstick and I get a free lipstick. So there's the disclosure. Now, Morph Me, or Live Glam, I should say, is the company that puts on these subscriptions. So they do the, the Kiss Me, the Morph Me. Um, they have a nail polish one, I believe. And they've just started Shadow Me and i have signed up for this so this will be coming up in the next little while so i had mentioned in my video yesterday that i had a story time about a renting situation and i know I, i've been speaking a lot about drama lately and it's not that i want to be a drama channel or anything but when i'm speaking about drama it's because that drama affects me it relates back to something I've gone through or it's just for the fact that sometimes people need to speak up for what's right um, 
people getting slandered online is not right. And so I, I just felt I wanted to speak about it. Um, I'm one of those people too that, you know, say what you want to me, attack me, who cares, whatever. Come for my friends, come for my family. That's a whole different ball game. Um, and as I mentioned yesterday, I like Jen. Um, I've never met her. We've never done the Chinese buffet. One day I would love to, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I consider her a friend I've met online, just like I do. Nosy House Frau, um, Avid Diva, Metamorphosis Rocks is another one I consider a very close friend. Uh, yesterday I shouted out Denise, her and I chat on Twitter. You know, it's, it's acquaintances, but friends. Sometimes it goes deeper than that. But the, one of the reasons that this whole uh, issue yesterday kind of affected me was Bart and I, when we had gotten together, we both owned our own homes. And uh, so when we moved in together, hit, hit, my house was a townhouse. His was a bungalow, single story, quite small. It was a bachelor pad. So we had decided we were going to buy a bigger home for us. We knew we wanted a family, that type of thing. Well, around that same time that we had bought a new house, a very good friend of ours and his girlfriend were wanting to move in together. Um, I can't even, like, I believe, we'll call him, um, let's pick a G. We'll stick with random letters. Um, I got to know G first because his mom and my mom were friends. They were, they had gone through breast cancer at the same time, that kind of thing. So that's how I got to know G. And through G, I became really good friends with his girlfriend, A. So they were looking at places, they wanted to move in together, and here Bart and I were with an extra house. So because they were friends, we offered them the house to move in together. Um, we offered them rent that was, I don't want to go into numbers, but it was a thousand dollars less per month than what everything else was going for. So in our town, it was beyond, like well beyond reasonable, but they were friends of ours. They're younger than us. They were just starting out. So we wanted to help them out. So we gave them a great deal on rent. In fact, when we had merged our homes, like any of our kitchen utensils, all of that kind of stuff, Anything we had duplicates of, we gave to them. Um, they were starting out. You know, they went from living with their parents to wanting to move in together and they, they had nothing. So, so we did that. And, you know, it was a verbal agreement. Um, you know, rent was to be paid on the first. Um, I did email back and forth so that we did have some sort of writing that, you know, rent was to be due on the first. They were... You know, they had to look after their own bills, that type of thing. Well, in the midst of them moving in together, they broke up. So at that point, you know, we asked G, like, are you still wanting to do this? Like, are you going to be able to do this on your own, being it's not the both of you? And yes, yes, yes. It was all good. Cool. So he's in there the first month. Um, he moved in mid-month, actually, and we didn't even charge him for the three weeks of the mid-month. So came the first we were looking for the first month's rent he didn't have it could he have a few extra days okay he's a friend so sure get it to us like as soon as you can but we need it because you know you gotta keep in mind like we're still paying you know property taxes and all this kind of stuff on well at that time three homes because i hadn't sold mine yet so that went on he gave us partial rent about midway through the month by the end of the month, I think he got most of it to us. So, but by that point, it's time for the second month's rent and he didn't have it. Uh, then he lost his job. Um, I remember him coming to me at one point and he had a job interview, a really great job interview, but he had to travel for the job interview. So he needed to borrow money for, from me for gas to be able to get to this job interview, which I loaned him thinking, well, at least if he gets the job, then he can pay the rent on time, that type of thing. And I did have this all in email. So 
this went on and you know around month five I think it was I had gone to visit him as a friend not a landlord and you know called ahead and everything because that's one of my pet peeves is people just showing up at my door it's like I'm not ready to to host like I'm the kind that when somebody comes to visit me you know I want to make sure I have drinks beverages snacks you know everything um so I went over there and it was not good he was a drummer he had put up um soundproofing or some some sort of material all along walls in the basement with like i can't even i can't i couldn't count the number of tacks uh carpet had been pulled up or snagged and oh my gosh there's holes in the walls there's it was not good so at that point I made an executive decision for Bart and I, and I said, look, gee, um, it's not working. It's time for you to go. Um, <laughs> and this is why I say nobody would go through this if they didn't have to. So he had said, yep, yeah, fine. I understand. Uh, things were still somewhat civil. He said, I understand. Um, I'll be out in a week. I was like, awesome thank you so much well he came and went he still wasn't out so contact by this point now I'm strictly contacting via email because you need receipts in life you need things in writing so <laughs> I said you were supposed to be out like when can we come we've got like I've got to line up a locksmith to change the locks um, all this kind of a cleaner to come in like if we're gonna sell the home, there's repairs that need to be done, all this kind of stuff. Well, you know, he needs a little bit more time because he found a place, he can't move into this date, all this. So we said, okay, yeah, take the extra two weeks, I guess, What on? whatever. That time came and went, he's still not out. So at that point, like, you know, I think we were hoping to still salvage the friendship in some regards, but at this point, I think we both decided that there was just going to be no saving it. So we actually, I got looking into our landlord tenant law and stuff. And now keep in mind, like I'd mentioned in an earlier video, video, like I have a business law background, so it's like, I'm not an expert in tenancy law, but I can read legal documents and somewhat understand them. So we, I figured out what the procedure was to have him leave. So we, First off, we mailed him a registered letter to the home with the eviction notice in writing, gave him the 30 days that was required by law, all that kind of stuff. Uh, he claimed he didn't get it. So then we hired somebody, like an actual, I guess he's, what was his term, bailiff or something? We paid him to serve G. Uh, wouldn't answer the door whatnot he taped it to the door but by this point G said he'd left cool so we went in the house saw all the damage he'd left garbage everywhere destroyed furniture all this kind of stuff but now we didn't know where he was so how do we serve him so which we found out after the fact and a whole lot of money that uh, actually us having that bailiff just mail it to or like tape it the notice to the door of his last known address which was our house was actually legal so anyway we then had to take it to small claims court which is part of the reason we were serving him as well to try to recoup some of this back rent and whatnot and being that he was out of the house now it's like okay at least we can start getting that fixed up but now to get the money so we found out that he had moved back in with his mother so we hired the bailiff again to serve him with the papers to appear in small claims court no sorry we mailed again registered letter it was signed for but he still claimed there was no date all this stuff he didn't show up to court so the court date got changed we hired the bailiff we had him served uh he he showed up to court this time yay with his mom and his mom was a piece of work she's yelling she's crying she's carrying on at that point the judge looked and said like asked g like what what's your age you're an adult 
told his mom to leave. Like, this is crazy. And we had all of our ducks in a row. We had um, his girlfriend he was going to move in with because she could testify as to all the um, the papers and the agreements, all this kind of stuff. And at this point, um, my eldest was a baby. I was pregnant with my youngest. So here we are. We're having to go into the city. You know, I've that was the other thing going into even going into the courthouse it's like they won't let you bring a stroller and it's like they go through your diaper bag you know my baby's getting antsy I'm trying to like how do I breastfeed him but I can't leave it was a hassle so anyway the judge ruled in our favor and said like this is pretty open and close you owe this rent pay the rent and he actually we didn't ask but he awarded us extra for the damages to our home and we had that all ready even though we weren't asking for it we thought you know something may come up so we got all that he had such and such amount of time to pay and of course shocking he didn't pay so here we go again so now we have this court order you know we could have let it drop but on the flip side it's like you know we've already invested enough that like we need it it's, it's like the moral ground of things and i've said this so many times before no good deed goes unpunished and in my frame of mind i was like you played my husband for a fool you played me for a fool i'm mad so anyway we are trying to get the money we can't get the money we have this order he's not paying we have to hire a bailiff again and we actually went back to a judge who ruled in our favor again to take the, the next steps, which was to impound his car. So again, now you're hiring a bailiff, you're hiring a tow truck, all this kind of stuff. They go to repo his car and he's, his mom is blowing a gasket outside their house, shouting, she's calling the police, the whole nine yards. It's just like, Oh, I can't even believe this. Um, yeah, so anyway, we repo the car. The car's repoed. He then goes to a judge, says he served us. He never did. Never had to prove that he did, which I found was so ridiculous after all the stuff that we had to go through. And the judge said, oh, yeah, well, you get your car back. So here we are again, and we're like, well, what the? Like, <laughs> we didn't get any notification of court, all this stuff. So unfortunately, the sad part of this was his mom ended up passing away midway through this. Well, then G takes to all his social media that we're the reason his mom died, all this kind of stuff. It was just like, I can't even believe this is going on. Um, G also then started to harass his ex-girlfriend, not because of this, it's because she got another man, but he played it up as if we were the reason and yeah, he broke into her house and all. Ugh, it was creepy. Anyway, so it ended up like then we had to go back to court and all this, all these fees. Keep in mind, this is all costing more money. And finally, you know, it comes down. He shows up up the door one day and he's like, I want to write you a check. Let's get this done. And I'm like, I don't want a check because obviously if you can pay rent, check is probably written by Goodyear. In other words, it's rubber. It's going to bounce. Who knows? So he went, he got a certified check, he paid, then ended up he still swindled because he was supposed to pay like a lot of these legal fees and bailiff fees and he never paid, but at least that wasn't on us. It was so much hassle and headache and stress that nobody goes through that because it's fun, I guess is my point. Um, to this day, like he is still, he still has our name in his mouth and that really annoys me. Um, and yeah, that was years ago. Like my eldest was a baby, seven now. But all, unfortunately, even though I want, I'm a beauty channel, I consider myself a beauty channel. There's an ugly side to beauty and some of these things affect me and that's why I discuss them. Um, you know, Thomas Halbert talking about how we're all OABs. Well, I'm an OAB, it affects me. I'll talk about it. 
uh, Trisha Paytas and the breakup. I made a video about why, how that affected me. And, you know, I had, I, I didn't respond to those comments because it got all up in my feels and I got upset. I made sure I liked them all. I did read them all. Um, Nosy House Frog did point out a few things and I was unaware of some of these things, but it was my interpretation of it. And, you know, last time I checked, I'm allowed my own opinion on things and I'm allowed to say what I want and put up what I want on my channel. So, yeah. So there's my story time that I promised in the video yesterday about my uh, whole renter situation and these three absolutely lovely. I love these. They're not drying. They've got like a whipped consistency. Oh, what was the other brand? There was another brand that I tried that was very whipped, but because it was so whipped, it wore off quickly. This does not. If I decide that I don't want to be running the last minute quick errands in this color um it will not come off with just a makeup wipe you will have to use i end up having to use some micellar water but love these lipsticks so sorry this is so rushed there's not going to be any fancy edits or anything and uh if you liked this give me that thumbs up also subscribe turn on your notifications um i will be away uh the funeral is on monday um, I'm not sure if we're going to try to boomerang it and come back Monday night or if we'll be back on Tuesday. So if I'm not answering or replying, I will get to it, I, po I promise. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I love you so much. Bye.